Hello. Today we are going to talk about a serious problem we are all going through as smokers. Smoking is basically in the brain. The brain has to be changed. The thought process telling your body that cigarette smoke is good for you is not true. Never has been, never will be. I am going to tell you a simple, simple way of giving up smoking forever. I do not charge anybody anything. You do not stick any patches on your body. You do not have to take nicotine pills or any other expensive items. This is a very simple technique. Number one, I call it the quarter of an hour cigarette wake up call. Before you have your next cigarette, look at your watch and wait until the next quarter of an hour. So if your watch says 10 past 6 in the morning and you feel like a cigarette, do not light that cigarette until quarter past 6. That will get your conscious brain thinking, oh, I am lighting up a cigarette. The next time you want a cigarette, wait until the next quarter of an hour. So, if the time is now half past seven, wait until the next quarter of an hour, which is a quarter to eight. This will get your conscious mind looking into why you are putting a cigarette in your mouth and sucking in poisons into your body. We have all been fooled over the years that cigarette smoke is good for us. I don't have to show you a smelly dirty old lung that's been overused and replaced by a healthy one. I don't have to show you my brother's grave where he died because he smoked all his life, as short as it was. I don't have to tell you or show you my next door neighbour who was in blood all over his pillow every time he coughed. Just think of these visions in your mind. When you light your cigarette up, wait until the next quarter of an hour. You will be amazed once you consciously realise you are putting cigarette smoke into your body and you are timing when that cigarette smoke goes in, your brain will refocus. It will be a lot easier to give up smoking. After one week of doing the quarter of an hour, bring the time limit to half an hour. So when you want your next cigarette, wait for half an hour. So if the time says five past six, you cannot light that cigarette up until half past six. Now we all know it's very hard to say, I am going to stop smoking right now, and did stop. Some of us can do it. Some of us can't. But I am certain you can stop for a few minutes, wait for that first quarter of an hour. I'm sure and certain you can stop and wait for that next half an hour. After two weeks, you will start to realise you're not really enjoying the cigarettes at all. In fact, you will not be enjoying what is happening to your body. 
Replace cigarette smoke with exercise. Go out for a walk in the morning. Smell the fresh air. Watch the birds pulling worms out of the grass. See what goes on around you when you are away from the haze of smoke. Two more things smoking does to your body. It dries up your skin. You get aged wrinkles fast. The second thing, it stinks. When you walk into a room after being outside, you smell horrible. Once you start telling yourself this and you realise it, you will, under no circumstances, ever smoke again. I went through the same process 25 years ago. It changed my life. I could afford other things. I am now a healthy being with healthy lungs and a healthy mind. May your God be very good to you. Each and every one of us deserves not to destroy our bodies with smoke. I beg you and plead you not to spend so much of your hard-earned money on killing yourself. Thank you for listening, and I do hope this will help a lot of people. There is no charge. I do not charge for patches, pills, or anything. It is up to you, in your head. Take the time. Just do it. Thank you for listening.